It's about time. What? Not that you realize that, you know, you can't go it alone. But even the great Jeffrey O'Neill might need a little help winning every now and then. Didn't win this time. Well, I think it's going to take a little more than divine intervention to nail Alan Spalding. I really wanted to. I really wanted to win. For Tammy. For Cassie. So you put your abilities above the big guys here? I know I can use some help. And I know I need forgiveness. It's not your fault. Neither is what happened to Ava. I heard from her today. How is she? She's okay. It's okay. This can be expected. You know, she said that she's getting good care. And the facility is... She said the people there are really nice. I don't get it. Really, I don't get it. Why her, not him? Why, why does she suffer? Why does he get to walk around a free man? I mean, really, I, it's just not fair. I mean, I know it sounds trite. No, it's true. It's true. Tammy loses her life. Ava loses her baby. I don't get it either. I don't like churches. Me neither. So how did we end up here? Oh. <clears throat> Good morning. I have fresh squeezed orange juice and danishes. That is so weird because I was just making a list for the groceries. Yeah, can so I come I, in? I don't think that's a good idea. I have apricot danishes in here. You had to go three towns away to get that. I know because in this town they only have cherry and cheese. I like cheese. But your favorite is apricot. <laughs> I didn't order danish. Yes, but you're the one who loves surprises. It's hot outside. Well, then maybe you should get back in your car and crank up your AC. Excuse me. Joshua, it, it... <clears throat> hey, is Jeffrey here, by the way, because I didn't know what his favorite flavor is, so I brought him cherry. He's at the church, Reverend. How is he? Well, he was upset that he wasn't able to put Alan away, and he is mourning his grandson and missing his daughter. He's got a lot going on. Well, then you should let me take care of you. Uh, what happened? But I was meant to be free. Okay. Uh, I would be if uh, the clerks around here could figure out the filing system. Uh, I ran into Alan, and I, you know what? I, I can't even talk about it. Please tell me you have some good news. Well, I do, I think. I picked a wedding date. Okay, uh, when do you want me to show up? Two weeks. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Josh actually stopped by the place, you know, and he's driving me so crazy. I mean, I know he's the father of my children and all, but he, he really needs to back off. Is Josh the reason we're getting married in two weeks? No. Jeffrey, I can't wait to be your wife. Look, I don't want you to rush this because of Josh. Okay? It's I, not, I know you're not going anywhere. It's not because of him. It's not sure. I mean, the fact that it's going to get him off our backs is a perk, but we need something good. We need something happy and fun to happen to us. We're due that. We are. We're overdue. Well, you know what? I'm not sure that I deserve it for one thing. I couldn't even manage to put the lady folio away, for God's sake. <sighs> and that means that Tammy is not going to get any justice. And Ava is not here. I can't help her. And I couldn't help Max. And I can't even put a case together to get Alan. Why not? Well, because of you. What 
did you mean because of me? That you couldn't get things done because of me? I thought we were talking about the wedding. We are. Viva. Before I met you, if I wanted something done and I couldn't get it done through proper channels, I would use improper ones. I would make a deal with someone. I would have someone handle it. And if I really wanted to, I would have Alan Spaulding handled. But now I'm with you. You're my family. So I can't, I can't do that. I can't uh, run around like a vigilante anymore. Well, gosh, I'm really sorry about keeping you from doing something really stupid. Reba. What I mean it. I mean, I kind of mean it. I mean, if this is the way you want to handle what you do, then fine. But, but don't... I don't want to be the one stopping you from doing that. But I, I also don't want you to resent the life that we're going to have together because it's keeping you from having the life you really want. Reva, the life I really want is with you. I'd like to think that we could kind of swing it both ways, you know? And I really don't want to spend our honeymoon visiting you in jail. I, I have to, um, I have to think. I can't think here. Hey, hey, uh, can I come in? Yeah, of course. Come on in. Oh, you're cleaning. Can I help? <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. Um, actually, I was just dusting up there. Oh. <laughs> wow. Uh, Sarah was such a beautiful baby. Yeah. You think she still looks like that? I don't know. You've seen her more recently than I have. Yeah, but Jonathan keeps in touch with you, right? I mean, he used to, so maybe you could give me his phone number or his address. Look, honey, I already told you that he hasn't been in touch with me. Don't lie to me. Okay. Sit. What's going on? You're the only other person that cares how she is or where she is, and I think she needs to come home now. So I think that you should tell Jonathan that you're sick again. I won't do that. Well, then tell him something. Anything. Just tell him that you need him. Just something that'll make him come home. It is time for them to come home. I miss her, too. I miss both of them. I'm sorry I'm freaking out. I have my days. <sighs> okay, I need your honest opinion. Do you think they're going to come home? Like, like, Do you think there will be a day when Jonathan will think that it's safe enough to bring her home? I don't know, Lizzie. I mean, if Grady's trial had played out differently and if Alan had ended up in jail... I mean, when Cassie was up there on the stand and it, and it looked like things were going really bad for those guys, I thought there might be a chance. But as long as Alan's out there, Jonathan's not going to bring Sarah home. You both know it's not safe. But my granddad doesn't even care about that anymore. I don't believe that. He promised me that he would not hurt her. He even offered to help me go find her. I really think that it's okay now. Jonathan keeps tabs on what's going on in this town. Especially anything that has to do with Tammy's trial. Believe me. I imagined so many times the phone ringing when the guilty verdict hit the news and Jonathan was calling saying he was bringing Sarah home, that both of them were coming home. Look, I know I'm disappointed too. I miss my kids every day and I would love nothing more than for at least one of them to be here for my wedding. I just can't keep living like this. I can't keep missing her like this. I, I, I have no idea how you do it, but I can't do it. Maybe it's because you have love and a wedding and you've got all this great stuff going on, but I don't have anything like that in my life. If I hear from him, I'll let you know. And believe me, sweetie, I will try. Oh. 